what's up guys welcome back it's been a minute and if i'm being honest with you guys today's video is definitely not the norm this is far from one of our typical videos but we haven't made any videos for like i don't know it's been like two months now and it's been way too long honestly if you ask me and i just wanted to make some type of video explaining what's going on because my current situation i don't really know uh how long it's going to be until i can get back to you know our usual content which sucks but it's been killing me inside to not post a video for this long so i was like you know what i'm just gonna make a quick little video kind of just explaining what's going on in my personal life and why i've taken a little break from youtube involuntarily i recently lost the little part-time job that i had and that was all of my financial income you know it wasn't a lot but it was just enough to scrape by and get all the stuff that i needed for the car to make the videos that i make and you know i've been looking for work since then it's been about two three months now haven't found a job so i am currently without any funds i had a little cushion of money you know and uh over the last two months kind of spent that on random things gas food and stuff like that so now i'm pretty much tapped out to the point where uh, i can't even pay for my car insurance anymore so i'm about to just you know that's that and then also too i've been waiting to get some money i've been selling some stuff that i don't use or whatnot trying to get some money while i'm waiting to get to land another job so i can you know start funding the channel again and unfortunately youtube doesn't pay me anything or i don't have any type of other income besides you know the little part-time job that i had so yeah that's where we're at boys so i've been trying to get my stuff together I've been trying to save up a little bit of money here and there so I could throw some gas in the car because I can't even afford to put gas in the car to go drive the car, which is just like crazy to me. It's almost getting to the point where it's like, I don't even want to turn the car on right now because I know we're running low on fuel and I literally can't afford to go get like four gallons of fuel. So it's like, whatever. And then, you know, I was getting to the point where I was pretty much ready to take the car out for a drive and make a little video, you know, nothing crazy, but just to get some type of content back on the channel because we've just, you know, we've, We've been on a hiatus, boys, and I don't like it. It doesn't feel good. And just as I got pretty much everything I needed to take the car for a little cruise and make a little video for you guys, I fired the car up this morning. And of course, you know, as I fix five things, another thing breaks, something that wasn't broken previous to the five things. And that's just how it goes. So I noticed uh, the wideband sensor on the car is out. It's just reading, you know, pegged all the way to lean it decided to go out from one weekend to the next i turned the car on last weekend everything was fine turned the car on this weekend now all of a sudden the wideband is out and if you guys aren't familiar with how these terminator x or the holly efi systems work a lot of it is you know calibrated from the wideband sensor if the wideband sensor is reading lean it tells the computer to add fuel if the wideband sensor is reading rich it tells the computer to pull fuel so if the wideband sensor is reading pegged on lean because the sensor's out, it's going to be consistently telling the computer to add fuel, which is no good. It's going to mess up the whole tune that we have in the car. The car's going to run like crap. So basically, I can't run the car until we fix the wideband sensor. And I looked up the wideband sensors because this is the first one that we've had to replace since we've put the Holly Terminator X on the car and the wideband sensor is like $140, $150, something like that. So if I couldn't afford $40 to put fuel in the car, I definitely can't afford a $140 sensor. And uh, you know, that's it's kind of just been a weight on my shoulders because I definitely can't drive the car with a bad wideband sensor as I just explained. So being that that is my current situation, uh, I don't really know when I'm going to land another part-time job or come up with the funds to be able to replace the sensor and put fuel in the car etc etc so I, that means i don't really have anything to film i don't know when i'm going to be able to drop some content for you guys so life is kind of forcing me to quit youtube right now is what it feels like and you know unfortunately when i stop posting content i stop gaining an audience and everything kind of just goes dormant which kills me inside because you know I've been working very hard the last three four years on this YouTube channel and then you know when I'm kind of forced to take a break it it doesn't feel that great and then I'm sure a lot of you guys are probably like yo what's going on this guy just quit 
etc etc and you know that's not the case guys i'm sitting here every day uh dying inside like i just want to film content drive the car go hang out with friends cruise uh get you know break in the clutch that we just put in the car so that way i can start testing the car again you know we've ran in the past the best of a 12-1 at like 125 miles an hour on the street spinning in first and i think the car has a lot more in it but the only way to see if that's true is to actually start testing the car but i I can't boys, we can't test the car without money. It's just not possible. You know, they say there's this thing that says, you know, you could become a millionaire from racing, but you have to start off as a billionaire. And I'm finding that to be very true. This is an expensive hobby and I'm not really complaining. So I don't want this to come across as me complaining at all. I just wanted to basically let you guys know what was going on because I, I don't feel comfortable with just letting all of the the audience that I have gained over the years and all of my faithful subscribers just thinking like oh this dude quit like he's done with YouTube I didn't quit boys I'm literally on a mission right now to get back on my grind uh, things are just not working out in my favor unfortunately but I'm not a quitter if you guys have been watching me from the beginning you guys know that I have been dealt crappy hands before and uh, you know I always pull through so I'm not really worried about it but like I said, I did want to make this video just to kind of inform those of you who do care. So, yeah, Miss Parker's good. I have been working on her here and there, kind of just getting things dialed in because we're at the point where we just need to start driving the car consistently. So I've been working on all of that. The car is in good shape right now besides, you know, the couple things that we do need for it. So once we do get that sorted and figure a way to, you know, get the sensor, the fuel, etc., etc., we should be in good shape, boys which is a positive thing, but you know, like I said, I, I'm like battling one thing and when I finish that battle and I win and I'm like, all right, no more fighting, we're good, I finished the battle, I won, uh, you know, another competitor steps up and it's like, well, dang it, dude, I didn't even see you. You know, you just done spawned out of nowhere and now we have another battle. So it's just one thing after the next with this car, which it is what it is, that is a part of the hobby and you know, I, I didn't really, realize how much you know money goes into it when I was making money because it wasn't a big deal I was just like oh I gotta spend 80 bucks here 140 bucks here whatever but when you're not making any money when there's no money coming in it's just like well damn boys this car is just gonna freaking sit here because I literally can't do anything so it's just like yeah but hey don't fret I'm gonna get a little part-time job here any day now and then once that money starts flowing back my way, I'm gonna dump all of it into Miss Parker with no hesitation because that's what, that's what I'm good at, you know what I'm saying? The car needs money, the channel needs money, and I have no problem spending the money on the car and the channel as long as I have it. So that's what I'm working on now. I have a few applications out that I'm waiting to hear back from, and hopefully I land something here in the near future and we can get back to the spicy content you guys know and love because trust me guys i'm i'm jonesing dude i'm like itching to get back to it for real dude like all i want to do is drive this car and as i've said in previous videos i got homeboys that have like pretty much stopped asking me to go on cruises now because they've asked me so much in the past months and i'm like yeah 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 next month it'll be ready next month it'll be ready and now you know two three four months down the road car still isn't ready and it's like i can't there ain't nothing I can do about it, boys. We just gotta wait. We're in a kind of limbo state right now. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do what I gotta do to get back to where I was and keep pushing. But I think that's gonna be it for this video. I kind of just wanted to explain what's going on personally in my life right now because as I've mentioned multiple times in this video, I just didn't wanna continue to go without dropping any videos as if I've just quit YouTube. But yeah, as I said earlier, life is just kind of forcing me to quit YouTube right now. I could make a bunch of videos that like, just to put content out there, but it wouldn't be good content. And I'm a strong believer and I'd rather just not post a video if I don't feel as if the content is worthy, if that makes sense. Like I'd rather just not post a video until I have something that's worth posting over posting a whole bunch of videos that's just like me talking and walking around the car all day. I don't have parts, I don't have things to do to the car, so it's like, I can't even film me working on the car, really. And yeah, that's just not my style, to, just to post videos, just to post it. That's why I said this video here, 
is me just simply talking, but this is very rare. I don't do videos like this often. I'm, we're usually always doing something to the car or have something planned. Uh, this video is random and I might take it down in the future. I just wanted to explain where we're at. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it wasn't anything special. It was just me kind of filling you guys in and catching you up to speed. And uh, hopefully we will be back to our normal content here soon. So don't give up on me just yet, boys. I ain't going anywhere, all right? I ain't going anywhere. So all the haters, keep hating, because I ain't quitting. It might take me a little while to get back on my grind, but I ain't, I ain't going anywhere, you understand? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too boring. I apologize for just talking and not having something to do, but I hope you guys understand, and I'll see you in the next one. Be easy.